God bless you. On this particular scope, I wanted to share with you about not being intimidated by the size of your dream. God bless you, Sean B. Um, or Sean B underscore B. Um, you, you can't be intimidated by the size of your dream. Many of us look at our big undertaking that God has arrested upon us. God either uh, gives us a purpose, a plan, a goal, uh, a mission, and then we look at it from our own resources. And it seems so large. God bless you, Takisha81. Uh, it seems so, uh, the goal seems so magnanimous that we, we don't even put forth an effort because we think it's futile for us to even try. But we look at too many of our goals through our own human ability, through our own human intellect, through our own uh, human strength, when we should look at our goals uh, from the eyes of God. God says in Ephesians 3.20, the Apostle Paul wrote to the church uh, at Ephesus, he said, Now unto him that is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we can ask or think. Uh, which really literally means that God can do something that's far beyond our comprehension. God literally can do that which blows our mind. Uh, that God has the ability to do, like, we serve a God who eats the impossible for breakfast. Things that are far past our own abilities, are far past our own uh, intellect, far past our own human reasoning and deduction God is able to do. But you can't be intimidated by the size of your dream. Of course, when God sends you a big dream, you know, and, and just the awesomeness of the dream that he placed on you may intimidate you so much that you don't do anything. I heard Dr. Bob Schuler, the late Bob Schuler, say once, he said that inch by inch, anything's a cinch. Uh, you you got to start. You got to start on your purpose. You know, you can't despise the day of small things. You're going to have to start on your purpose, run after your goals, reach for that which is beyond what you're now experiencing. You got to start. You got to launch an endeavor. Uh, you know, Wayne Gretzky, the, the, the hockey great, said that he missed 100% of the shots that he didn't take. And that's what's happening in so many of our lives right now is that we're not taking shots at the goal. We're not taking shots at the rim. We're, we're, we're not going for the long, we're not throwing the bomb because we're intimidated by the size of the dream that God has placed upon your heart. Maybe that big shot that you, that's in your industry, that's in your city, that's in your ministry circle, the big shot that's in your arena of expertise was just the little shot that kept on taking chances. Folks, you can't, you, you won't, you got to launch out on your endeavor. You got to launch out in the deep. You got to put something out there for God to bless. The scriptures declare, commit your work unto the Lord and he shall establish it. You got to do something. Cast your bread unto the waters and it will return unto you after many days. Don't be intimidated by the size of your dream. A dream that's way over your head is still under the feet of your God. And God has placed everything. The scriptures declare that the earth is his footstool. Now, it says that you're an heir with Christ and even joint heirs, that you have kinship with God, that Jesus is your big brother, God is your heavenly father, and the devil ain't no kin at all. Look, folks, you're walking into the divine. You're walking into places. You're meant to walk, you know, the scriptures declare that every place that the soles of your foot shall tread upon, that have I given unto thee. You know, God is your light. God is your refuge and your strength. The Lord is your light and your salvation, your deliverance. Look, folks, what's too big for you is not too big for your God. Stop pushing the panic button. Stop being so reticent. Stop uh, delegating yourself uh, to the sidelines of life. The dream that's too big for you and your own abilities is, is a piece of cake for your God. Put your hands in God's hands. Put your hands in the man that stilled the waters. Put your hands in the man that calmed the seas. Look, folks, God is still on the throne. God is still sovereign. 
the scriptures declare in Philippians 4 and 13 that the Apostle Paul wrote, I can do all things through Christ that strengthened me. Now you make sure that it's Christ, the anointed one, that's strengthening you. And if you can, you, you hook up with Christ, if you hook up with the anointing, the anointing that it says in Isaiah 10 and 27, that, and it shall come to pass in this day, in that day, that his burden shall be uh, taken off of thy shoulders and his yoke from off thy neck and the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing. Look, child of God, we God has this burden removing, yoke destroying anointing that he's ready to manifest in your life. Stop, you know, stop feeling that you're only anointed when you hear the roar of the crowd, the applause and plaudits of those who are passers-by. Stop uh, believing it when people are, your name's on the tongues of everybody and everybody's only saying accolades about your ability. I literally tell you that in the scriptures that you are never more anointed, anointed than those days when you feel a javelin <laughs> flying by your head. David was a king and the sign that he was anointed were the javelins that were flying by his head. What's too big for you, child of God, is not too big for your God. Don't be intimidated by your circumstances. Don't be intimidated by your seeming lack of resources. Don't be intimidated by the size of your dream. Attack your dreams with your God that's bigger than any dream and any any purpose that anybody can ever have. God wants you to achieve great things, but you got to expect great and mighty things. You got to reach for great and mighty things. You're going to have to press towards the mark, towards the prize of the high calling of God, which is in Christ Jesus. Look, folks, don't be intimidated by the size of your dream. Dream bigger. Reach further. You will still get the prize. God bless you. Thank you for those hearts. I'm going to sit here about a minute and let you send them up because I'm getting close to, I think, 100,000. Just want to hit the 100,000 barrier. Uh, we'll go by another minute. God bless you. Pray that that word bless your life. Uh, don't be intimidated by the size of your dream. Uh, if what's too big for you is not too big for your God. What's so intimidating to you doesn't intimidate your God. God bless you.